isn't he? Special, special commodity, isn't he? Something that doesn't come along very often, and we've got to enjoy him while he's around. Um, uh, it's been chat about him and his longevity, but at the minute he seems to be bowling better than he ever has before. And uh, even though the conditions suited, you've still got to go and put the ball in the right areas, ask the right questions of the batters. And you know, I thought throughout this whole game, he did just that. Um, set the tone extremely well with Stewart, and as a whole bowling group, I thought we were really, really good. So you don't want to take anyone for granted, but it must give you a great feeling that you just you just know he's going to do it nearly all the time. Yeah, and his record suggests just that, doesn't it? I mean, what, 100 wickets here at Lords now? Um, and time and time again, he puts in fantastic performances, and you know that even if he's not taking wickets, he's going at two and over, so he's always giving you control, um, as, as have the rest of the guys throughout the series as well, which is an, another pleasing thing. Um, but for him to be performing as, it, as he hit is, is... You know, it's something else, isn't it? It's great to watch. It's great to be a part of, and obviously, he's a massive part of this team. Chris well, got the man of the match, and everybody was obviously delighted for him. Does that just sort of speak volumes about the way everyone thinks about him in the team? Yeah, he's um, yeah, he's a big part of our squad, all three formats, um, and it's obviously been a frustrating summer for him. He's been injured for a long part of it, and getting an opportunity to come in this week, I think the easy thing to do is to get. Um, I suppose a little bit anxious, try a bit too hard, and I thought he settled in magnificently well with that first spell in particular. Um, bowled extremely well and then took that confidence into his batting. That partnership really changed the game, uh, turned it on its head and got us miles ahead of, of India on that surface. I thought we um, it was worth probably 550 on another wicket, so... Uh, you know, Johnny won't get the plaudits either, but I thought he played exceptionally well, um, and and got us into a really good position. You know, today. Yes. Much talk. Uh, Stuart mentioned that there was talk in the dressing room about uh, being patient out in the middle, and um, was it that you had specifically said, uh, you know, to the squad that would make them regroup for the tests? Yeah. Look, in terms of patience, we know that if we are consistent in the areas that we bowl for long periods of time in these conditions we will get rewards and I suppose the temptation sometimes is when you start taking wickets you start searching for it and you, you start trying to force things to happen and ultimately if you are um, sitting on, on that area for long enough and trust the plans that we had in place then we will it will work it over a period of time and it probably happened a little bit quicker than anticipated throughout today but um, that's down to the skill level of the guys to, to not only have the right plans but to be able to back it up and, and follow through on that. Was It showed a great amount of skill from every single one of our bowlers. Joe, you have played enough cricket against these set of Indian players. So uh, are you surprised by the lack of fight from this Indian batting lineup, or do you think it could happen to any team with in under these conditions? I, I don't see any lack of fight or lack of... Um, you know, trying, I think India have, have obviously doing everything they can. But from my perspective, I'm just so pleased that our bowlers are, are performing as well as they are. Um, and uh, I think that the, you know that's probably been what's been uh, the difference. Is not necessarily India, but how how well we've performed and um, the 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 areas we've we've put the ball in, the questions that we've asked of them, and. Um, you know, I, when you build pressure for long periods of time, it's very difficult as a batter to um, to sort of get through that sometimes. And um, I'm just really pleased that we've managed to do that for long, long periods within the game, giving them nothing. There are only a couple of Indian batsmen who've got over 30. One of them uh, looks like he has a very sore back in Virat Kohli. D do you have a sense that you've really got the wood over them and that you could really uh, take this series by the scruff of the neck now? I think if you get too far ahead of yourselves, this game's got a funny way of biting back at you. I think we've got to make sure that we turn up to uh, Trent Bridge and we continue to keep trying to learn and keep trying to get better. We've still not played the perfect performance yet um, and that's something that we've got to keep striving towards. Um, regardless of you know, what team India have out on the field on um, at Trent Bridge, we've got place we want to get to as a side and we've got to continue to keep trying and work hard to get there um, 
it's obviously a great position to be in, 2-0 going into to Trent Bridge where we have had a lot of success in the past, but ultimately we've still got to play five days of really good cricket to win that game. So it's important that we obviously enjoy this this win and then we spend the next couple of days getting ready for some good preparation in, into that third game. Yeah, TFC, wasn't it? Um, it's not very often you have a, um, a, a world-class spinner like Adil not bowl the ball within a test match. Um, and I suppose that's a really pleasing thing for us as well, is that we've we still had other options that we didn't have to go to. So it might be completely different when we turn up to Nottingham, but um, you know, I'm sure he's not minded the way this week's gone. What did difference you you see in what you have experienced against India uh, that do you notice? I, I put it down to the way we've played probably. I, I don't like to look too much into um, the opposition in terms of how they go about it. That's that's up to them. But we've got to make sure that we you know, get get our game right and um, we stick to our game plan. And then it's about executing that. Um, making sure we don't stray away from that too far. Um, but ultimately, we've got to focus on us. And we've done that really well in these two games. It's another back-to-back -back test match. And, and that's an area we want to get right. We want to keep winning, if we can, over, over a period of the summer and, and not give opposition sides the opportunity to get back into the series. So, as I said, we've got hard work to do in the, in the preparation, the lead-up to this next game. Um, but it's a, it's a great position to be in. I think a different, you know, very different side, bring different challenges, um, and you know I think we're playing some really good cricket at the minute, and, and we've got to co continue to try and take that forward and, and can continue to be playing as well as we are, especially with the ball. Andrew, you know, the um, those roles again. I mean, it, you know, when you, when when you, as a captain having a guy with four slips, two leg slips, short leg, quite a sight for the spectators. What's what's it like for you guys out in the middle when he gets on one of those roles? Oh, it's great. Um, in his second over, he came up to me, so feeling really good rhythm today. Um, looking forward to a long spell, which is exactly what you, what you want to hear from one of your senior bowlers. Um, and you know, he didn't disappoint, did he? He bowled exceptionally well. Um, in, in those conditions, it must have been very difficult to, to come up against that. Um, and it's, I suppose, a really pleasing thing throughout this series is we're not relying on one individual. You know, every guy within that attack is, is put in crucial performances throughout the two games. So that's a really, uh, a really good thing for this team, you know, and stands in really good stead. Gives us a huge amount of confidence going into the last three games. So, but just as a captain, though, how do you harness that when you suddenly sense he, he, he's, he's on that role again? I think yeah, making sure you don't over-attack and you get too giddy, but ultimately when someone's in that frame of mind and in that zone, it doesn't really matter where you put the fielders. Um, you know that they're going to you know, they're going to ask the right questions and, and make it very difficult for batters. It's just about making sure your catches are where you want them to be and where you think the ball's going to go. And um, you know, it's, it's a lovely feeling to have as um, as captain, yeah. Joe, how important was it that you put that performance in without Ben Stokes and how much if he's, for whatever reason he's not available for future games this summer you can do it again without him? Yeah, I mean Ben's obviously been a, and is a huge part of this squad so it's, it's obviously a miss him not being here this week um, but what it did do was create an opportunity for, for Chris to come in and perform and Boy, he didn't disappoint, did he? He was outstanding. So I suppose in that respect, it's it's nice to see guys really taking opportunities. Um, and that's something that we want to harness as a team. And it's an example to the guys on the on the edge of the of this, the, the team that are in and around the squads when you get your chance. You know, make it as hard as possible to, to leave you out. And um, you know, it's a great headache to have as, for us going into to next week. Uh, Joe, you've been on the receiving end when you've been on tour of you know, home teams that kind of get on a bit of a roll, whether it's Australia or, or India, in and relish the chance to have the boot on the other foot and, and I guess make sure that you're um, as ruthless as you can be uh, across all five matches. 
Yeah, well, obviously that's the that would be the dream, wouldn't it? To to put in five complete performances and and have five wins. But as I said, it's important that you we don't get complacent, arrogant, or look too far ahead. Um, we're playing against the number one side in the world with some very talented players, and um, we have to make sure that we continue to keep looking to learn and develop as a team. We're not the finished article. We've got a long way to go to where we want to get to. Um, and you know we're going to have to start again and work extremely hard over the next five days to win the next game. Um, and it's that's got to be our mentality moving forward. Of course, um, it's a great position to be in. You know, two nil up with three to go, going into Nottingham as well, which is a, a great place for us to play. But um, we've really got to make sure that we are realistic about things and you know enjoy. Enjoy the position we're in when we get our opportunities. Really try and put India under pressure um, and, and drive the game forward, but not not get uh, not get ahead of ourselves. Being there, like I say, on on the reverse of it, and I guess you will remember what that felt like and how difficult that was, and and how hard it must be for for touring teams. So, yeah, it can be tough, um, and it it's been tough for us previous. So you know, as I said, we've got to. Look at making sure that we're doing everything we can to put, continue these performances uh, and keep making it very difficult for India. But and that comes with hard, a lot of hard work and, uh, as you said, that a ruthless streak in, within us. So we've we've set it up nicely to you know to be two nil up, but you know, three big games against a good side, we're going to have to play well and we're going to have to continue to to keep looking to get better and not be happy with what we've achieved so far. Everything seems to be going right according to plan, but are you still a bit concerned about your opening combination? We've got to be quite realistic with the you know the surfaces that we've played on. I think it's been two challenging wickets that have you know, you've seen a lot of swing and seam movement throughout these these two two games, and obviously the hardest time to bat is up front. And in um, if you put the this game in particular, you put that in perspective to um, the whole. Three, three innings throughout uh, I thought we got off to a relatively good start um, so I, it's, I suppose it's being quite realistic with what's actually happened within the game not looking at the, the numbers that are right there in front of you um, and you know, I'm, I'm quite happy with with the side that we've got and the, the players that we've got I know there's a huge amount of ability um, in our batting in our top, top four uh, top five so uh, that's not a worry for me. Um, of course, guys will want to go out and score big runs, and we'll be desperate to do that. And it's another opportunity to do that at Trent Bridge. But no, we we know that we we can play. We know that we're capable of scoring over 400, um, and we've just got to take that chance when it comes. On on hopefully, um, if it is a difficult service, we'll have to adapt. But you know, if the surface is right, we you know we've got to make sure that we we hammer that home. Last question, Will. Joe, a bit of a talk before the series was about whether James Anson and Stuart Broad at their age could get through five tests in six weeks or whatever it is, and you've had a three-and-a-half-day test at Birmingham and a 170-over match here. Are you starting to wonder whether, if needed, they can make it through all five? I think that's something that we will have to manage um, and we'll have to take into account over the next three games, the, the workloads and all the rest of it. Um, but, you know... It, when they're performing as they are and and they're making the game shorter it makes it a lot easier to for them to to be fit and ready to play in the next game and um obviously if if they they're fit and ready to go you want them you want them there on the field so we'll have to we'll have to manage that and we'll have to be you know quite smart with that we don't want them injured for long periods of time uh, but if they're fit and ready it's you know it's it's a great position to be in thank you Cheers, thank you.